Hi. I like to um, think about things in terms of structural issues. And one of the, one of the structural issues that I've, as, a, as an armchair public guy watching what's going on, I haven't seen a, a broader discussion uh, at the leadership level about what the state's priorities are overall on a broad level. What, what's important, what's not important? What are we going to say yes to, and consequently what we're, what we're going to say no to? And I see the fights of the, the battles, et cetera, for tax credit here, or movie industry there, or uh, furloughs here, or school there, as sort of symptoms of a, a lack of discussion, from my perspective, a lack of discussion about what is the priorities for the state for Hawaii. So my question is, why hasn't that happened, and when's it going to happen? I guess I'll, I'll take a stab at that. A lot of it is, as you started off to say, the structure of the, of the state government. You know, uh, first of all, <laughs> as much as uh, some of you may just with a bit of chagrin say, we are elected. <laughs> That's the first problem. No. The, and, and the other thing, <laughs> the, uh, yeah. and the second problem is that when, you, when we talk about any kind of uh, uh, planning, long-term planning, we are, uh, we are a result of our component parts. For example, Angus here runs every two years. Carol and I would run every four years, right? So when, and the budget is for every two years. And so what we, and we have constitutional issues as to whether or not we can bind future legislators and future promises and whatever else. So when you look at the structure of government, it is only when government takes it upon itself to say, okay, w let's do some long-term planning. But then how do you bind government for a long-term plan? And it's because you, you can't bind future legislators. The Senate has attempted um, to try and address the long-term plan when we went out and did Sustainability 2050. And uh, the interesting concept of Sustainability 2050 was what is sustainability? Like I said, what is the tech? The tech? What is tech? And to my surprise, um, when someone just asked me that, I said, ah, it's the ability to watch uh, your grandchild grow. And, and people said, no, sustainability is growing your own food, right? Being green and doing all the, and having a healthy economy and all of that. I said, well, that's being able to watch your grandchildren grow because that means you've had a healthy economy. You want them here. Short of something like that, and I think Governor Hamayoshi may have done it with his state plans mm -hmm. uh, way back when. But I don't think anyone, and that was where we started with the idea. But as to how is it the government then plans long term, structurally, we're not meant to plan long term, unfortunately. Even the governor, term limited after eight years, right? So you would hope that when you go to the polls and vote your next governor, that you're, you're voting for someone who may at least have a vision for eight years. You know, when, when I first even considered running for politics, they all said, you have to have a vision. I don't hear younger guys being asked, what's your vision? You know, it's what are you going to do about taxes, right? What, are you, you going to vote for taxes? Are you going to increase our GET? What are you going to do? Are you going to take our TAT away? And that's the focus. So the focus of the legislature, we are a reflection of you, right? We each get elected because of our respective constituencies. So. In a way, when you ask what is our priorities, what many of us do is many of us reflect the priorities of our constituencies. And unfortunately, it is because many of us live election to election. And that's the nature of our structure. I would like to have a great, wise thing for you, but that's it. And I think the closest we've come is Sustainability 2050. You know, David, one of the questions, I guess, about and what Bill Spencer had talked about on his panel is the need for leadership. But the question is, who is on the point to be the leader? Uh, because we have a system of government with three branches of government, checks and balances. Is it the governor? Is it the legislature? Is it the speaker? Is it the Senate president? And, and those are all issues, uh, I think, that, you know, just swirl around out there. But, Senator? Well, I just wanted to sort of um, amplify, you know, um, 
on Senate President's remarks, the Sustainability 2050 uh, initiative, you know, to answer Mr. K's question, was really designed to be that community-wide dialogue. Now, maybe one of the things that uh, made it difficult, you know, for us to move it, you know, beyond uh, where it ended up was that 2050 was viewed as maybe too far off into the future. So after we had many, many, many community-wide meetings, we had a lot of um, really excellent position papers and technical analysis that was done, people could relate to the fact of what a sustainable future represented. Um, I think one of the difficult parts that we encountered as we tried to come up with um, a legislative package to implement it was that 2050 was sort of so far off, you know, some of our package um, bills talked about land use changes, departmental changes. Uh, they were just too confusing, you know, for people. And I think part of what would have been perhaps a lot more compelling and would have allowed us to garner more support within the business community, you know, where um, there may have been uh, a reluctance to advance some of those ideas, um, you know, among the more traditional industries, was we should have put the, um, that 2050 deadline a lot sooner. And I think, you know, if we can somehow revive that discussion, uh, you have many young organizations today like Kanu Hawaii, you know, and Envision Hawaii, many of these young leadership groups, they are sort of filling in the gap between what happened when we um, went forward with that 2050 initiative. And hopefully, you know, as things get really bad, it will give us a reason to get together again and revive that notion of a shared vision for a sustainable future requires fill in the missing blank. Representative? Oh, yeah. Um, as to the next session coming up, you know, what we're trying to do, we're actually already having this discussion in the House already. You know, I've seen the speaker so many times the last two weeks, I can tell you what Aloha shirt he's wearing. I mean, <laughs> I'm, we're, but what I'm trying to do is we go out, like, you know, Senate President said, we are accountable to the public. That's our bosses. And so what I've been doing is going out to the people of Lahaina and West Maui, who are my bosses, and asking them, you know, here's the reality. It's going to be priorities, number one. And number two is there's probably going to be some kind of a revenue driver, a.k.a. tax increase. So what kind of poison can you live with? And what we're trying to get is something from the community. What are your priorities? Is education the priority? If it is, you know, do we use like, things like the hurricane fund to plug the gaps now, knowing that that's going to mean less money for other programs? What are you willing to do without? What services are you willing to do without? What is absolutely essential? And that's what we're trying to gauge for the next session. And now the next step is I'm taking this back to the speaker and to my colleagues and discussing it with them to see you know, what kind of support they would give and what are their feedback from their communities right now. You know? And that's kind of like, they say the legislative process is like making sausage or Portuguese stew, and that's exactly kind of what it is. You have to take all of these competing viewpoints and interests and try and come up with a somewhat semi list of priorities. And that, it's a tough thing, I mean, it really is. And, you know, but I guess it all starts from our perspective, especially from the House. You know, the idea of a two-year House was to be in touch with the people, or as uh, Senator Anthony Chang used to say, we were the rabble of the legislature. <laughs> <laughs> but the whole idea is we, our job is to take these ideas, the priorities of the community, and then bring them forward. The real trick is going to be meshing them with everybody else's and also with the different entities, the different industries out there as well. You know, so that's kind of the process we're in right now from the House side.